Hey everybody, Nate here with Hotsey. Today we're gonna to do a video on how to winterize equipment. It is that time of year again. Things are gonna start getting cold. Things are gonna start freezing. Now we need to make sure that we winterize our pressure washer thoroughly so we can use it in the spring. If we forget to winterize it, we're gonna have a big bill in the spring and it's not gonna work when we need it. It's gonna to need to go in for service. So we don't want this thing to freeze. So we're gonna go step by step on how to winterize your Hotsey pressure washer. So the first thing we need to do is talk about antifreeze. There are a couple different antifreezes you could use. Up here where it's cold, I'm at Hotsey Cleaning Systems in Green Bay, Wisconsin. We're gonna use automotive antifreeze. It's 50-50 mix, the green antifreeze you put in your car, that's what we're gonna use today. In warmer climates, you could probably get by with RV antifreeze. Uh, that stuff tends to slush up a little bit when it gets really cold. So we're, in cold climates, I prefer the green antifreeze. So what I've done here is I've rigged up a system to feed the pressure washer antifreeze. So this is just a gallon jug with a hose and it's got a garden hose inlet fitting. We're just gonna feed this right into the inlet of the machine. We're gonna open the valve. We're gonna let this antifreeze flow into the machine. We're gonna turn it on. We're gonna spray the trigger gun until the antifreeze comes out green. Once it's completely through the hose gun, we're good to go. We, but we need to make sure that we squeeze the trigger a few times and release it a few times so we get antifreeze completely in our bypass system. So let's get going. That's all there is to it. So this machine is the Hotsey 555. There's no float tank on this machine, so we're just gonna feed that line directly into the inlet, run it until it comes out green. Now our entire system is protected. The pump, the bypass, the coil, and the hose. Completely winterized, ready to be put away for next year. Next we'll go into a machine that has a flow tank. The flow tank is a separate feature on some of the other machines, and it's an easier way to winterize those than to use the jug if you uh, have a flow tank. Okay, so the next machine we're gonna do is the Hotsey 795. Now this machine has a float tank, so it makes it a little bit easier to add the antifreeze to the system. We can still use this setup if we want to, if we have one made, we can definitely use it. We're gonna hook it up just like we would any other garden hose, tip the jug, let the antifreeze feed into the system, run it until it comes out green. But if you don't wanna make this setup and your machine has a float tank, right here's the float tank and you can actually open the cover right there and you can just add a funnel if you need it or you can just take your gallon jug of antifreeze and simply pour it in there, fill up the float tank, run the machine for a bit, draw that float tank down of the antifreeze, keep adding until it comes out green. Make sure we cycle the trigger a few times so we get the entire bypass system full of antifreeze. So let's go ahead and hook this one up, get it going, get it antifreeze. Squeeze the trigger, relieve the pressure. This machine's now done. Simply close up our float tank, wrap up the cord, put away the hose, and we're done. It's that easy to winterize a machine with a float tank or without a float tank. Very simple to do. We just need to make sure that we replace all that water in the system with antifreeze. Now our machine's protected, ready to go for the winter. It'll be ready to run in the spring. We won't have to worry that we have a frozen pump or a frozen coil. We're protected, ready for winter. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. And remember, Hotsey, it's what the pros use.